Today we're waging an all-out assault on the modern format, building around a really old card from way back in the day, Seismic Assault. This 3-mana enchantment lets you discard a land to deal 2 damage to any target, an ability that is just waiting to be abused along with Renin 6 and Light from the Low. But if I'm being real, these two are just the appetizer, because the real cherry on top is everybody's favorite slime ball, Slogar the Overslime. A 3-mana creature that grows in size every time a land is put into your graveyard from anywhere. Anywhere? Anywhere. Man, quit playing. And once Slogurk has accumulated 3 plus 1 plus 1 counters, you can return it back to your hand along with 3 lands from your graveyard. So if you're doing the math, Seismic Assault, 3 lands, and an attack from Slogurk can deal 18 damage out of nowhere hmm. in one turn. If you're still crunching the numbers, don't stress because Slogurk is going to show you what's up in our first match. We're kicking things off in game three of match one on the play against Scam with a well-rounded opening seven. We lead off with a shock, casting out our grazer and putting our wooded foothills into play. A shock in Thoughtseize from the other side rips the Renin six from our hand, leaving us without a good turn two play. But fortunately, a ragman off the top means we can connect with its dash ability, generating a token and revealing a black leaf glyphs. We return Ragavan to hand at the end of turn, and the opponent responds with one of their own, but falters and misses their second land drop. We fetch out our Triome end of turn, and then draw into our deck's namesake, Seismic Assault, a legitimate threat that is very difficult for Scam to deal with. We play it out and hold our land in hand, as it now represents direct damage at will. But the crafty Scam player thinks they see an opening, evoking a fury and scamming it back to the battlefield, clearing the way for their Ragavan, but we've got news for them as fire rains from the sky and scorches Ragman before the monkey can thief and plunder. And now, with the threat of fury on the other side of the table, I decide to set a decoy by playing out my Karn and find the One Ring out of my sideboard. I need to dodge discard here. I'm fortunate as my opponent attacks into my Karn and has nothing else for turn. We untap, and now it's on. Draw a land, cast the One Ring, and draw a second land, which is enough to burn down the fury when I need to. And because of the one ring trigger, we now have protection from everything, so we can't be attacked on our opponent's turn. They're forced to pass, and we can now pull even further ahead. Do a Ragavan, and we'll just pass the turn back. Attack with their Fury. Uh, I have no blocks. I'm going to Seismic Assault it down. Another Undying Spell, and we'll just kill it out right here. Untap. Ring deals us three. Draw another Seismic Assault. We'll draw three cards. All right, and now we're in business. We're going to start with an attack with the Ragavan. Get a treasure. Okay, our opponent's dead. So here we play out the Slogurk. We discard to the Seismic Assault. It's going to deal our opponent two. Slogurk's going to get a counter on it. We cast our Loam. We'll get back three lands. We're going to deal two with the Seismic Assault. Slogurk will get another counter. Two with the Assault. Slogurk will get another counter. We'll return Slogurk to hand. Get three more lands. And that will be lethal in our opponent's scoops. We're 1 0. Oh. Jumping back in, we're on the draw opening hand. Looks excellent. We'll keep. Opponent leads with an Urza Saga into an Amulet of Vigor. Unless we're able to find one of our Besejus and start looping it with our Loam, I can imagine game one of this matchup can be very poor. Into a Grazer, trigger the Grazer, I'll put our Wooded Foothills into play. Opponent ticks up their Saga to two, plays out a basic forest, nothing else. We'll untap, we drew into a Lightning Bolt. Play out a basic mountain, we're gonna fetch with the Foothills and get ourselves a basic forest here. We're gonna cast Loam, putting these two lands into our hand. Pass down a second Grazer, put another Foothills into play. Hopefully we're not dead. Saga goes up to three. Opponent with a second Amulet. Simic Growth Chamber. Two triggers. It's going to be four mana. I'm just going to yield. Let them do their thing. Six mana and pool. Summoner's Pact. Primeval Titan. Prime time number one. It's going to be a Slayer Stronghold and a Boros Garrison. Prime time is an 8-6. It's an attack for eight. Two triggers. It's going to be a Sun Home and a second Simic Growth Chamber. Okay, we will double block. We're down to six. Untap. Uh, we'll dredge loam. Play on a land. We're gonna fetch. Get ourselves a basic mountain. Fetch. Uh, we'll shock. And we'll get ourselves a steam vents. We're gonna loam. Foothills. Foothills. Triome. Cast out a seismic assault. Back to my opponent. Summoner's pack trigger. A the four. Draw for turn. Opponent moves to combat. And we're gonna six the titan. Titan down. Simic growth chamber into play. Two mana. Four mana. Back to hand. One ring. Triggers. Opponent draws a card. We're going to dredge our loam. We're going to loam back. Triome, foothills, foothills. Pass the turn. Opponent takes one off the ring. Play out a growth chamber. They'll add four mana with it, I assume. Draw two with the ring. Ten cards in hand. They're besaging down the seismic assault. While I wanted to keep my bolt up, 
This instance may be a good reason why we should have played out our second seismic assault on our last turn. We're going to bolt it. And we will get a million lands into play. All right, so they're going to have infinite mana here. We're probably just dead from this point. Okay, triggers are off the stack. My opponent's starting to return their lands to their hand. They have 27 mana in pool. And a primeval titan will spell defeat. We'll scoop it up. Let's see if being on the play makes any difference. Opening seven is fine. We'll keep it. We're going to lead on our scalding tarn. We'll fetch. We'll shock in our stomping grounds. To play out a ragavan. Opponent's turn. Basic forest, nothing else. Start with an attack with the ragavan. Triggers. Besage you enters exile. We're going to play out a breeding pool. We'll shock again. We'll play out our slow gurk. We'll pass the turn. Unfortunately, a third land didn't show up off the top of our deck until turn 6, at which point my opponent's board state looked like this. Drew a Scalding Tarn a little late, played out. We're going to fetch, trigger Slogurk, their basic mountain, and we'll play out a Blood Moon. Back to our opponent. Opponent with another Dryad, attack for 6, save you down to Blood Moon, try him into play, we'll untap it. Vesuva, there's going to be 6 Valica triggers, and that will be game, we'll scoop it up. Jumping in, our opening seven looks great, we'll keep it. Hunt it with a Scalding Tarn, and they pass. Drew a second Grazer for turn, we'll play out our Misty, we'll fetch. We're gonna shock in a Stomping Ground, play out our Grazer, trigger the Grazer, Scalding Tarn into play. Opponent fetches end of turn, Steam Vents, tapped, untap. Versus Saga, might be Breach. Right, drew a second Pesagey, which is actually pretty good. We're gonna play it out, and we're gonna lead just Pesagey down the Saga. Opponent adds a mana, Sacred Foundry into play tapped. They untap, basic island, into a Teferi. Uptake the Teferi, nothing else. End of turn, we're gonna fetch with the Scalding Tarn. We'll put our Trium into play tapped, untap, through into a Karn. We'll play out a Renin 6, plus the Renin 6, Tarn, play our Tarn, we'll fetch. I'm gonna get a basic this time, get a basic mountain. We'll play our Loam, three lands back to hand, no attacks. Put an uptake to Teferi once more, plays out a Flooded Strand, does nothing else, back to us. Despite Teferi being in play, Besaju allows us to interact with their game plan through the Planeswalker's static ability. Bolt our Renin 6, Unholy Heat our Renin 6. Steam Vents into play tapped. Play a Misty Rainforest, we're going to fetch basic here. Cast Loam, return two lands back to hand. Opponent Spell pierces it, that's fine. Play a Grazer, fetch in response. Held Fountain tapped. Grazer into play, we'll put our Tarn into play. Back to our opponent. Grazer back to hand, into an Emery. Green pool tapped. Untap. We'll dredge our loam. We're gonna start with a Karn. We're gonna minus our Karn. We're gonna get a Tormod's Crypt. Play out the Crypt. When it unholy heats down the Karn, we'll fetch. Basic Island. Loam back our three lands. Back to my opponent. When it activates their Emery, we're gonna respond, exiling their graveyard. They're gonna activate the Fairy Bouncing Emery. Recast the Emery. No artifacts in the graveyard. Untap. We're gonna dredge loam. We're gonna besage you down their white source to start with. When it adds a white mana, another Steam Vents. We'll switch phases. Play a Tarn, fetch with the Tarn, basic mountain, loan three lands back, besage you down one of the red sources. At this point, our plan is to slowly besage you all of their lands until we've dwindled their resources and left them helpless. Bobble back into play. Look at my top card again. Underworld Breach, Mishra's Bobble back, and cast out a second Emery, they bobble me again. Breach goes away. Untap three draws with their Bobble. We'll dredge our loam. I'm gonna start by playing out a land. We'll fetch, put a breeding pool into play, tapped. We're we'll loam three lands back to hand. Besage you their red source. We're gonna fetch. We will shock this time. Renin six plus besage you back to hand. Get rid of their steam vents. Scalding Tarn, activate Emery, and they scoop. Opening seven's very land light, but I think I'm actually gonna keep this. And to my demise, a blazing fast start from my opponent in game two and missing my fourth land drop left me with no way to interact. Back to our opponent's turn, they untap. Underworld Breach, and this will be game. We'll scoop it up. All right, jumping in, game three. Opening seven is acceptable, we'll keep it. Opponent's on a mulligan to six. We need Basic Mountain, and we'll pass the turn. Opponent leads with a Steam Vents, Shocks, Spring Leaf Drum, nothing else. In a turn, we're gonna cycle this cave, draw into a land. Untap, we drew into a Karn. We're gonna play out our Wooded Foothills. We'll pass the turn. The opponent untaps, plays out an Urza Saga. Oh, Pithing Needle, I should have responded to that. And they need to save you. Back to us, we'll untap. Drew into a Renin 6. We'll play out our Scalding Tarn. We're gonna fetch Basic Forest, fetch Basic Island. If our opponent has a Spell Pierce, they get us. Blood Moon resolves, or is a Saga to the Graveyard. Haywire Might, activate the Might, destroy the Blood Moon. Blood Moon down, another is a Saga. Untap, we drew into a Scalding Tarn. We'll play out our Tarn, we're gonna fetch another Basic here. Play out our Karn, 
And we're gonna down to Karn. We're gonna get a Chalice here. I'm gonna cast Chalice on zero. So I go up to two. Blooded Strand, Fetch, Hallowed Fountain, Shock. Nothing else from my opponent. Drew into an Arboreal Grazer. We're gonna down tick our Karn. Get ourselves a Haywire Might. We're gonna cast out the Might. Sacrifice to get rid of the Saga. When it makes a construct in response, Stomping Grounds will Shock. Play out our Grazer. Play out our Islet. Put on Taps. Tax him with the construct. will block. Emery. Back to us. Drew into a Breeding Pool. We're gonna Shock that in. We're gonna uptick Karn, targeting the Springleaf Drum. Cast out a Fury. Drum and the Emery, cast out a Renin 6, turn the Forgotten Caves to hand. Back to my opponent, and they scoop. We got there. A round four pairing against Mono Black Coffers revealed some critical flaws in our strategy, as we were unable to deal with the resolved Shieldred on the board in both games one and two. Additionally, having Seismic Assault in play without any of our three engine cards left us with little chance of surviving the powerful game plan our opponent utilized. We're two and two going into our fifth and final match. This looks great, we'll keep it on the draw. Opponent leads Misty Rainforest, passes the turn. We'll kick things off with a land into a Grazer. Trigger the Grazer, Misty Rainforest into play. Opponent fetches Watery Grave, shocks, and considers. Stubborn denial to the graveyard. Looking like Death's Shadow of some sort. Another consider, Watery Grave, shock, back to me. We'll untap, drew into a Wooded Foothills. We're gonna play that out. We're gonna fetch with the Misty. We'll shock in a Stomping Grounds. And we'll fetch with the foothills as well. And we're going to get a basic mountain. I'm going to cast a loam, bringing back the foothills and the misty. And we'll cast a second grazer. And we'll put the foothills back into play. Engine is online. Back to our opponent. They consider again, put a card in the graveyard. They untap draw. This feels like a merc tide. And it is. Big creatures, merc tide included, seem to be problematic for this deck. Play out our one ring. We'll draw a card off of it right away. We'll drew another land. Pass turn back. Opponent untaps, no attacks, nothing else, and a turn will fetch. We'll put a steam vents into play tapped. Untap, one ring will deal us one. We will not dredge loam yet. We drew into a Karn, pretty good. We're gonna draw two off of our ring to start with. My opponent casts a Bowmaster, so we will be taking two damage off of that. In the moment I was unaware, but my opponent targeted my Grazer with the first Bowmaster trigger. I should have dredged loam to prevent the third point of damage to keep Grazer alive so I could chump block the Murktide. Minus Ren killing the Bowmasters, we're going to get Karn, minus, and we're going to put Ensnaring Bridge into our hand. Back to our opponent. A Thought sees us, imagine Ensnaring Bridge is going away, play a Watery Grave, shock it in, Fatal Push on our Grazer, attack for 11, we're going down a 5 life, they kill our Karn. We'll take 2 off of the ring, we won't dredge loam just yet, we drew into a Ragavan. We're going to draw 3 off of our ring, let's we'll see what the draws are here, 2, 3. We drew another Karn. We're going to start by dashing out this Ragavan. Attack for two. We exile the Swamp from the top of our opponent's library. Unfortunately, I don't think we can deal with this Merc Tide region, so we're going to scoop it up. All right, we're on the play game two. Opening seven, unfortunately, we can't keep. We'll go down to six cards. Our six. I don't think we can keep this either. We'll go down to five. Five still isn't great, but I suppose we'll keep this. And we'll bottom a Grazer and a Seismic Assault. Despite having 25 lands in the deck, we were unable to find our third land drop in a fairly uneventful last game of this league. Death Shadow hit the board on turn 3 and made quick work of our life total. So a disappointing 2-3 finish with Assault Loam leads me to the question, how would you have built this deck differently? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for tuning in, I will see you all again very soon. Until then, be well my friend. <laughs>